Hi guys, it's Adam here from the Disney Theme Park Vlog, and today we're going to be giving you the best tips on how to get the most out of your first trip to Disneyland Resort Paris. If you're planning a visit, we've got the insider experience knowledge that will turn your trip from a great vacation to an awesome one. Feel free to ask us any questions, and we know there are lots of you Disney fans out there, so if you have tips to share, comment below or find us on social media. Links are in the description. We love to hear from you, so don't be shy. Now there's so much to tell you about Europe's most popular tourist attraction, so this video is going to be focusing on Disneyland Paris Resort, and then we will have a separate videos on each of the two amazing theme parks. While you're there, why not give us a like and subscribe for our latest videos and news, as well as our tips for getting the most out of visiting Disney theme parks. Right, let's get cracking on our top tips for visiting Disneyland Resort Paris. Disneyland Paris is one hour by train from central Paris. It's actually located near the town of marne le vallee 20 miles east of central Paris. So the first question is how are you going to get here? Tip number one, we recommend taking the train. We normally find that the train is the easiest, quickest and often the cheapest way to get to Disneyland Paris. You can get a flight, but do bear in mind the cost of transfers, and you could drive, but you'll need to include the cost of parking at Disneyland Paris. So with a train station right outside the parks, we find the train the quickest and easiest way to get to the resort. If you're travelling from the UK, you're likely to be joining the Eurostar from St Pancras International, or you can join from Ebbsfleet International. Now this station is often much quieter, it's also much easier to get to if you're driving, and you can park at the station which may be easier for you rather than travelling into central London. Right, now you've arrived at the Disneyland Paris Resort, let's get discovering all the magic that awaits you. Tip number two, download the app. Ok, so our second tip is to download the official Disneyland Paris app. You should do this before you arrive, as there's lots of planning capability that will help you get the most out of your visit. The app contains maps of the parks and resorts, so you can get your bearings before you arrive. It lists all the attractions, entertainment, restaurant shops, as well as key visitor information like where to find toilets, first aid, guest services and much more. You can find out more information about the rides like height restrictions, get average prices and menus for the restaurants, find out where to see characters, see park opening times and times for parades, fireworks and shows. You can also see the wait times for rides and while they might not be reflective of what the wait times will be when you visit, they will give you a good idea on what the most popular attractions are and so will help you plan accordingly. The app also tells you which rides have a fast pass option and which attractions, restaurant and entertainments may be closed for refurbishment during your stay. All this information and more is also available on the Disney and Paris website, but the app is really handy to have while you're in the parks and Disney has free Wi-Fi for guests throughout the resort, so you don't have to worry about eating into your data plan. Just remember, using the app in the park and taking all those photos is going to take its toll on your phone battery. So. Top tip number three, pack a portable charger. Another app you might want to think about downloading is the Disney Photo Pass app. Many of the attractions have built-in cameras to capture you enjoying the rides and at selected character meet and greets. With the app, you just need to scan the QR code and the photos will immediately be added to your account. Tip number four, you can adjust your ride photos. So, if your head is cut off or there's an issue, speak to the cast members and they can adjust the photo, move things around and try and help you get picture perfect. If you are sat on the ride with a stranger, they can also replace them with a character, which is a really awesome effect. Alongside this app, you'll need to purchase a photo pass. This can be bought in the majority of shops within the resort. Tip number five, ask the cast members. The cast members are there to help you, so make the most of their knowledge. Disney cast members are amazing, really friendly, incredibly knowledgeable and they love nothing better than helping guests. Most of the cast members at Disneyland Paris are fluent in English and French and many of the cast members also speak other languages. You can see on their name badges which languages they speak and if they don't know the answer, they'll always find it for you. If you need assistance or want some advice, don't hesitate to ask. They genuinely love assisting guests and interacting with you. In the theme parks, Disney's array of attractions is second to none. From thrill rides to immersive experiences to enchanting rides for little ones, there's so much to explore and enjoy. If you're visiting with children, many of the rides do have height restrictions. So, our top tip number six, 
check the height restrictions. If you're traveling with children, our advice is to work out which ones your children will be able to ride in advance. There's nothing worse than your child looking forward to a ride that it's not safe for them to go on. And it's better to tell them that they won't be able to do certain rides or avoid those areas completely to bypass the tiers. But don't worry, there is a great range of rides with no height restrictions and lots of the child-friendly ones are fantastic for adults too. Rider Switch is also available. If there's an attraction that you're really keen to ride but your child is not tall enough, so you can queue together as a family and then take it in turns to ride the attraction and look after the kids so you don't have to miss out on a single thing. Tip number seven, make a plan. Before leaving the resort, we'd recommend you make a list of which attractions you really want to go on. Depending on what time of year you're going, the parks get really busy and throughout the peak summer period and weekends, the wait times for attractions can become really long, sometimes topping two hours or more for certain attractions. You can avoid the queues by using FastPass, but you need to use these strategically. So watch our video on FastPasses for how to get the best out of them and which attractions you can use them on. Have you looked at our video on the top 10 attractions at Disneyland Paris? If not, be sure to check it out after this video to help plan the attractions you don't want to miss. No matter what, you're going to want to plan which attractions you and your party want to do most and plan for how much time you have. We'd visit Disneyland every day if we could, but we'd recommend three days is a good amount of time to spend visiting the parks where possible. If you only have one day, you need to think about if you'll visit both parks or just one. You also need to think about what time you're going to get to the parks. The parks tend to get busier throughout the day as more guests arrive. So if you have children, it is worth thinking about whether you want them to make it through to the fireworks. The parks can be very tiring, especially if it's hot. The Disneyland Resort is huge and you can quickly rack up a lot of steps and tire yourself out by zigzagging across the park. So try and stick to an area before moving on. And in Disneyland Park, you can use the Disneyland Railroad to help get between each land. The train runs around the perimeter of the park, allowing you to hop on and off in different lands with stations in Main Street USA at the entrance of the park, Frontierland, Fantasyland and Discoveryland. Top tip number eight, be ready to break your plan. I know, right? We just told you to make a plan and now we're telling you to break it. Well, Disney parks have amazing things going on all the time. Unexpected things like characters suddenly appearing, spotting really short wait times for a great attraction, or getting a last minute table at one of the best restaurants. We like to have a plan, but we know it can never work out 100%, so we like to take a little detour every now and then and enjoy whatever is going on. So as you can see, there is lots to explore at Disneyland Paris. Be sure to check out our channel for more guides and information on getting the most out of your trip. While you're there, why not subscribe as we are adding more content all the time. We hope you found this video useful in planning your trip and if you have any questions, let us know. Most of all, we hope you have the most amazing time at Disneyland Paris. If you've been before, let us know your tips as they're really helpful to our viewers. We want you to have an amazing time. Tip number nine is to relax and enjoy yourself. Our final tip is not to put yourself under too much pressure to get everything done. Quite often we see first timers rushing trying to get everything in, feeling stressed and missing out on the fun of sharing the moment. Take lots of pictures, soak in the fun, relax and enjoy the magic. But what are your top tips for visiting Disneyland Paris? And which rookie mistakes did you make? Comment below, talk to us on social media and if you've enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe to support our channel and get the latest content. I've been Adam for the Disney theme park vlog. Thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.